The other day we had a question on one of our pieces of equipment. It was on the Insulink Junior. They actually had a situation where they had to bury some fence in the ground and they were running our Insulink Junior with some, with some fabric and had to bury it two feet in the ground. And same thing with our Insulink Senior, it would be the same issue so we can answer both of them on this same video. What, what they are doing was trying to, to run the Insulink machine with the fabric dropping into the hole, the trench. Now I believe the problem was is that they couldn't get close enough to the trench without falling it in, falling, caving it in. So if, if that was the case, we have two different operations settings on the Insulink Junior. And that is just by moving the pin back, you can get an extra six inches of gap, which this is now set up for the furthest from this bobcat. And you can see that there's about maybe 18 inches there at the most. Now, that may not, he may have done that and felt as though it wasn't enough room yet. We've had another customer that had the same problem and this was back a while ago and what they did, actually did, they were on, I'm gonna back up a second. They were actually on a level ground, which if you're on level ground, this is a real easy fix. You can just disconnect this hydraulic, you can disconnect the top hydraulic cylinder by pulling the pin. I'm just gonna pull it out. You can take it right off or leave it on and pull this thing out further to get the desired width that you want here. Now, in the bottom pin also, you'd have to pull it out and push the, this here back also. And what they did was actually, they, I think they wanted three foot extra length. So they actually welded on to the end of this here, an extension, pulled it out further didn't worry about any of the hydraulic cylinders going in and out just because they were on soft ground or level ground and were able to get three feet from the bobcat and then people were e it was easier to stretch the fence and drop it in the hole now one of the other issues that they had was when they're dropping it in the hole is 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 how did they actually stretch it out typically in our in our instant when we've used it we've always tilted the cage back a little bit further like cradled it back and it seemed to want to drop, droop down better, you know, into the trench. And then uh, we were able to run it out that in that way. We always had a guy back there making sure it went in the hole. But if you can stay far enough away from the trench where you're not caving it in, it should go in. Now, another issue you may end up having, of course, are the post holes, or the posts themselves with the concrete around. In some cases, they leave the concrete down low enough some cases the post may have been driven, but if that concrete is up near that top and you have to go around that fabric or around that concrete base, then you have a, a smaller, another issue trying to stretch the fence. There's no way you're gonna be able to stretch this thing on a long interval just because of all the extra friction there. So you would probably have to stretch it maybe on every 100 footer in that ballpark range in order to stretch that. And it's also gonna help if you have tracks for better traction to pull that fence. The last thing we do when we do stretch the fence, anytime you got fence going down in the ground where you're not being able to reach it, you're better off to make sure you get a good size tension bar down that as far as you can to help keep that fabric coming along. Right. In regards to trying to get this thing extended out further right now without any modifications to the insulin machine, you can take this here off, the cylinder off, in the top and the bottom, you can drill another hole right next to the end of the, the, the shaft here, and you'd be able to get it about this here distance, which is approximately almost two feet out right now from the bobcat. So you can just put it, you can just drop your pin if you drill another hole here and another one up here to hold that in this position. But once again, you have to have a level ground in order for that to be efficient. And in most cases, when you're doing trenching I'm sure you're on a fairly level ground. In regards to this cylinder it would be best to leave this thing hooked up in, in its spot over here or take it off completely um, just because you're not going to want this thing flopping around out, out by the fence here so put it back in its position take it off right here at the joint at the stretching arm just unbend this and take it out and push it back in and put it back in its home back over here so it'll be protected a little better.